Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with the three months of Modal Logix, a sequel to the 100 Days of Logic. In this video, we're going to be looking at the interval model of time. So, as we mentioned in the last video, we're not going to be doing much on the interval model of time in this series, but it's important to understand to contrast it with the instant model of time. So in some future series, hopefully we will offer a full treatment of the interval model of time. But for now, we're simply going to offer a basic explanation of it to contrast it with the instant model of time. The interval model deals with time in durations or intervals. It's going to be more expressive than the instant model of time, but it's also going to be more complicated. Like I said, we're just doing a very basic treatment of it right here. In the future, hopefully, we'll deal with it more. But the simple idea is the interval model of time talks about time or expresses time in terms of durations or lengths of time, while the instant model of time deals with it in terms of moments or instants. So... Intervals are periods of time that are defined by a starting instant and a final instant. So imagine our timeline, and instead of a bunch of instants stuck on specific points on that timeline, you can imagine intervals as miniature lines on that timeline. But intervals can be used to speak about instants by creating what's called point intervals, where the starting point and the ending point are in fact the same. You'll note there's one on that timeline that has start slash end as the same point. Now, in addition to our precedence relation that we talked about before, we're going to also include two more, also binary relations. So when I say binary relation, I mean it relates two things. That's going to be the overlap relation. It says that two intervals overlap each other. And the inclusion relation. That means that one interval includes another interval. You may recognize the symbol for the inclusion relation if you've done any set theory. You'll note it's a little bit more squared off in this case. Basically, it's going to mean that one interval includes within it another interval. So, for example, today includes within it the hour from noon to one. One interval is included in another interval. Okay? So, like I said, we're not going to get into this too much, so don't worry about it, but that's just a very, very basic introduction of some of the symbols that are going to be used kind of in the first order logic when we're talking about intervals and time. Up next, we're going to be talking about the precedence relation, the basic relation that's going to underlie all of instant-based modal logic. Watch a new video every single day for three months here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.